everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is gonna be a birthday slash Black Friday haul. Um, I didn't get much on Black Friday, so I figured I would just lump it all together. It's mostly makeup. I've got a few clothing bits and a candle. And yeah, if that sounds interesting, stick around, make sure you subscribe. Um, the shirt of the day, I am wearing my Krampus shirt from Fright Crate that I got. Last year, I'm going to drink my coffee while I show you my stuff and my little gnome for the holiday cup that I found at the Dollar Tree. And yeah, we're just going to get into it. It's very windy outside, so if you hear banging around, that's what's going on. And yeah, we're just going to jump into it. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure your notification bell is turned on, and we're just going to get into it. I'll start off with the non-makeup stuff. And then we'll do the makeup stuff. Uh, my sister-in-law got me a candle. I'll let you read it. Um, her friend sells these. They're handcrafted soy candles. I don't think she makes them. She sells from this company. I don't know if it's some sort of MLM. So it's a caramel scented. Um, we have burned it once. I like the soy candles. They burn pretty cleanly. So I got that. And then... Um, I got gift cards, so my mother-in-law bought me a pink trash can for the kitchen, which I'm not going to drag in here, and then she got me a gift card for Old Navy, so I did get a couple of clothing things. I got these cute pink flannel, just, you know, jogger style pajama pants. It does get chilly here in Arizona in the winter, and I do like flannel, and then I just got a couple of shirts. Um, they were having a 50% off sale, so I got this top. Most of my stuff is gray and or black because I can wear it to work and I also like gray. I got this sweater. This stuff I got in a large. I can wear a medium um, and a small if it's oversized, but some of this stuff shrinks so badly that I ended up just getting all larges in these. Um, this is a large and then this... Um, it's like a long john material is a large. And then this is a medium because it's a little bit oversized. But I got those tops. And again, they were 50%. Everything was 50% off the day that I went. So I ended up, she got me a $50 gift card. And I ended up, I think, with a dollar left on it after getting those four things. So I didn't think that was bad at all. And then my mom and dad got me a gift card for Sephora. So I picked up, this is gonna be my first Natasha Denona palette. This is the Tropic palette. It's been on clearance. Um, I don't know if people didn't like the formula of this one or just not the color story, but it's got some pretty like pinks and mauves and a couple of pops of color. So I thought this would be a good palette for me um, just cause some of her more neutral ones didn't really appeal. To me so I I got this one we'll try it I haven't used it yet I just thought the the bottom row is really pretty and then I like these kind of pinky neutral mauves that are in here so how many shimmers are there there's only one two three four there's five shimmers and the rest are matte so I should be able to do something with that so I picked that up from Sephora and then I got a couple of things I think I had the 15% off VIB coupon. So I got a travel size of the Peach Perfect Setting Powder because I have not ever tried this. So this was on sale. And then I got the Milk Holiday Tinted Lip Balm Set. The Green Dragon is the like regular chapstick, I guess. And then there's Bubble and Plush Berry, which are tinted. Um, these were recommended by Emily Noel. So I picked this pack up and then it's one of those things where if I decide not to use them all then I'll give my mom she likes these like deeper berry colors so I may share one with her and then the naked honey palette was on sale and this is one that I've wanted for a while since it came out it's waiting for a good sale so there's that so that'll go with I have naked cherry and the Naked Heat palette. So I now have three Naked palettes. 
So I picked up those from Sephora. And then Mike for my birthday got me, I got this early. He gave this to me early, but this is the Stoned Vibes palette from Urban Decay. I think I used this in a video or at least wore it in a video because um, he did give it to me early, but I like this palette. It's definitely a companion palette. Like this would be a good one to use with the Natasha Denona because there's only five shimmers in there. Um, but I like it. Some people didn't. Again, you only have four mattes, but it is a nice, I like the shimmers that are in here. So I do think it's pretty. Um, so I've been liking it. Not everybody does. It seems like it's pretty split as far as whether people liked it or not. Um, and then my mother-in-law also got me, no, it wasn't my mother-in-law. Um, one of my friends from work and then my husband's best friend and his mom got me gift cards for Ulta. So I did pick up a few things from there. Um, I got, I've been wanting the Soft Glam from ABH, so I picked up Soft Glam. I haven't used her yet. She's very pretty. So there's that. And then I got a mini of Max Velvet Teddy. This is one of those like cult shades that everybody talks about and I've never tried it. So they did have some minis. Um, they did have Ruby Woo also in a mini and I decided just to get this one because I will wear this more. So finally got that. The Tropical Twilight is available on Ulta's website, so I used part of one of the gift cards and got this because I've been wanting this palette and it was only available on Makeup Revolution's website for a while. So this is the, the Tammy, the Tropical Twilight Tammy and Makeup Revolution collab. So I picked that up and then I, I didn't need this at all. This is the 35XO from Morphe. Um, it's, it's a giant pink palette. I did not need this, but it looked really pretty. So, and since I had a gift card, it's just a giant pink mauve neutral palette. It just looked really sweet and pretty. So I ended up buying that. I know I'm pretty sure in a video, I said that I was never going to buy any more Morphe palettes, but I don't want any, any more as big as the Such a Gem palette. I don't mind this size at all. And I definitely don't mind the cardboard. I actually wish they would do the cardboard versus the plastic packaging that they do. But so I got those. And then um, because I got the Makeup Revolution palette, I got a free gift. So it came with a bag of stuff and I got a baked blush that's actually really pretty and I have used it. Um, it came with an eyeshadow palette. If I don't end up using this, I will put it in a giveaway, but this is the Redemption Iconic 2 palette. It looks pretty. It's kind of a cool toned. It's mostly shimmers. I think there's only two mattes. I think it's supposed to be a dupe for the Naked Smoke palette, I think, but it is pretty. Um, like I said, I'm not going to swatch it because if I don't end up using it, I will put it in a giveaway. I got a liquid... It's a unicorn elixir. It's a liquid highlighter, but it's actually really pretty. The dropper doesn't work really well because it's a very thick consistency, but I actually think I like this a little better than my Jeffree Star liquid highlighter that I have. It's, it is very pretty, so I wasn't mad that that was in there. And then I got this HD Pro Contour palette was in there. I'll use that. It's a good drugstore contour palette. I have another one from Makeup Revolution that I do like that I use. And then there was a lipstick and I just threw the lipstick in my giveaway stuff. But I thought all of that stuff for being free was not bad at all. And then Black Friday, they restocked um, the Child palette from ColourPop, the Mandalorian, the Child. Um, I got this I may or may not be getting blood money from Jeffree Star for Christmas. So I thought, and I did want this when I saw it because it is a green color story. Um, I'm not necessarily obsessed with Star Wars. I'm a Trekkie. My dad likes both. And I think Baby Yoda is cute, but I didn't necessarily get it for Star Wars. Um, it's a green color story. I like green eyeshadow. And I did think that I, after Christmas could do a comparison because this seems like a condensed down version of Blood Money. So if you're anti-Jeffree Star 
or you just don't want to spend $52, this I think is a good alternative when it's available. So I figured I could, that was my justification for buying this because I certainly don't need it, but my husband likes green and so I am partial to green eyeshadow. So I did want this when it came out because it's a green, it's a cute little green palette. This wasn't on sale, but they happened to restock it. And then the palette that I did get on sale, and this was my only Black Friday purchase, I got the um, the Bloodlust palette. Um, it's velvet. It feels nice. I'm annoyed that it's not the coffin shape like the others. Um, so that's something, but I did get it on sale. I don't wear a ton of purple shadow, which is why I didn't buy this when it first came out. I don't buy a ton of his stuff on release. I generally will wait. Um, the other palette of his, I wouldn't mind getting the cremation palette the next time there's a sale. So I'm still going to purchase from Jeffree Star. I've never been on the stance that I thought he was a terrific human being before. Um, I like his makeup. So I overlook his personality flaws, um, and I generally do wait for sales. I got Blue Blood on sale. This one was purchased on sale. Um, so I'll leave it up to you whether or not you want to purchase from him or not, but I did, I did get this, so I will have all of the Blood palettes. Um, like I said, I'm my husband got me the blood money. We wrapped it. Um, it came in a mint green box. So it was very obvious what it was. They're not very subtle with shipping. So we, we still wrapped it. It'll be under the tree. So I'm not going to actually open it or touch the palette or anything until Christmas, but I will have all of the blood palettes. So the completionist in me wanted it also for that, which is stupid, but I have more space for my larger palette, so there is room for this now. Before, there's absolutely no way I could have gotten this palette. I would have had absolutely no room for it, but I have a little more space. All of my Jeffree Star stuff is in one drawer, so she'll have room. And I have had a couple of subscribers ask me to do looks with this, and I just, I didn't have it. So now I can do some looks. If you still have this and you want to see looks, let me know. So that was everything, and I did want to give a shout out. Um, Stamper Wendy is her YouTube name. Thank you so much for sending me a Christmas card. I wanted to let you know that I did receive it, and I thought that was very, very sweet of you to send me a Christmas card. So if you're watching, thank you so much. And yeah, that was everything that I got. I mean, it's it's a lot probably for the average person, um, considering I still have palettes that I haven't used other than the new stuff, but. I am trying to scale back my purchases. So after Christmas, it'll probably be a while before I buy anything just because I'm not working two jobs anymore. So that was everything that I got. Let me know. Um, did you guys buy anything on Black Friday? Like I said, the Jeffree Star palette was really the only thing that I got on Black Friday. I had most of my Christmas shopping done, so I didn't need to buy anything for anybody else. And I've been wanting that palette, but I did not want to spend $54. Four dollars 56 however much it was so I paid 36 for it so I thought that was a lot better so yeah thank you guys so so much for being here with me have a wonderful rest of your day and hopefully I will see you all in another video very very soon bye everybody